Whatever happened to the murder hornets? You remember that chapter of this disastrous 2020? So something's been flying all around our state lately, and many of you, like me, have wondered if maybe it's our turn to tango with these things. So we took your photos right to the experts to sort it all out. They're big, kind of scary, and they're all over the Duke City. So what are they? Or more importantly, what aren't they? So people are not seeing murder hornets. They're seeing an actually larger wasp known as a cicada killer wasp. Jason Schaller is the curator of entomology at the Bugarium at our Botanic Garden. So what exactly is the cicada killer wasp? And let's just be honest here. Can we just leave the worry to the cicadas? Schaller says these wasps are the largest in our state. The females hunt cicadas and then lay their eggs to hatch next year. Only the females sting, and the females are completely non-aggressive. The only way you'd get stung by a cicada killer is to pick one up and hold it in your hands. And even doing that, it's most likely going to just try to escape and fly away before it stings. So if you ever come across a cicada killer that seems aggressive, it's just a male, and he can't do anything. He doesn't have a stinger. Schaller says we could also be seeing the digger wasp, which are very similar to the cicada killer except they're basically a beetle's worst nightmare. So the bright spot for us in 2020 so far, no murder hornets, just sit back, take in the fact these killers are not out for our blood. Enjoy them while they're around. They're scary, but that's kind of the fun in them. It's, uh, it makes them, to me, more fascinating.